So you thought I got up to enough mischief in the last episode, eh? Well, this time I wasn't really planning on it being ally focus. Where is he? There he is. I see you flying around, mister. I see you. You can't hide from me, except for when you go under the base, which they uh, like doing often. Oh, bring me a cup of tea. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very kind of you. But, uh, you know, this guy uh, in Stress's base wanted to get in on the action because, yes, I uh, may have stole a villager. But you know what? That's OK, because I said so. No, no, that's not really how it works. But uh, stress hasn't been around and we keep missing one another. So what I'm going to be doing is leaving a little thank you present. I'm hoping that that's OK. And if not, uh, we can come to a, an agreement. And it's this guy again. And I don't really know what blocks stress is using at the moment in the build. So I just put a random assortment of, of nice th things. Some pinks, some, some you know, must blocks, some, some amethysts. I know stress likes amethysts and stuff. Y you like amethysts. You had one. I gave you one. Where is it? You, you got rid of it already? Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to put that there and I'm going to put a little sign on here saying, thank you, stress. And then, uh, false. Yeah, I'm sure that won't confuse her in the slightest. It'll be fine. It'll be completely fine. Let me out. Let me out of here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that is uh, the, the payment enough. I mean, to be honest, that glow like is quite expensive in the shopping district, you know, so are the, some of the other blocks. So uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to go with that. But if you're wondering why on earth I grabbed a villager and what I needed the villager for, well, if we pop down here into uh, the basement of my little base, which has two entrances at this point, uh, this is him. Sorry, bit of a downgrade, to be honest with you, isn't it? But I was in bad need of some redstone and actually... Kind of need some lapis too for dye, for the concrete. And, uh, you know, a, a little bit of this is nice too, a little bit of that. And also, seeing as though we have a gold farm now that I'm involved with, you know, I can get an occasional emerald here too, which is really nice for the wandering traders when I run out. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Tango will sell redstone at some point. Yes, I will buy it when it is available. Currently, as I'm recording, it isn't. But also, when I go mining, I absolutely find none. And also, I like keeping it in ore form if I can. Because at this point, I've built up quite a collection of ore and uh, it's going to be nice to use this uh, when I uh, d d decide to build some stuff that could use it. Like I'm thinking these would be kind of fun. This is always a good one. These two here. And yeah, there you go. Wait, did he actually give me an amethyst shot? I didn't realize. Maybe he did. Very, very, very kind of you. Very kind of you. Thank, thank you, little uh, ally. So, sorry for being mean. But I did pop over to my concrete shop a little bit earlier on and, uh, well, we seem to be doing pretty well. If I look at my little earnings trophy tracker here, we now have a total of 621 diamonds. I said that weirdly, but yes, yeah, 621 diamonds as of today. And um, it, you wouldn't know because in reality, there isn't really that many here at the moment. I'm trying to keep 64 in here and then spending the majority of the rest. I need to I need to actually do that because I need to get some more rockets. I need to get some more building resources. Those diamonds go pretty quickly, so they won't be in there for very long. But seeing as though we now have lapis, which is uh, quite a difficult thing to, I guess, farm otherwise, we are now on our way to get blue concrete going pretty regularly. And so my plan for the day is to head over to the shopping district yonder and uh, get started on building a shop. Though this wasn't at all planned, but it is pretty funny that we actually started over at Stress's base of this episode. But to explain, I'm gonna get started on building up a little bit of a hill here to put the shop on, so we have a bit of a starting point. So for context, Stress was kind of the inspiration, at least in part, for what I'm building here. Because for those who don't know, she's been recreating her previous season's bases on season 10, combining them all together in some real sort of mega base almost. I mean, surely it works a bit like Transformers or something, right? She's gonna, like, become Optimus Prime or something by the end of the season, her, like, final form or something. I'm kidding, but it got me thinking about my favourite and you guys' favourite builds of mine in previous seasons. And seeing as though that kind of build doesn't really work at all with my current base location and theming, I thought where best then to combine it with shops? because those are pretty open and you can kind of do whatever theme you want. And so we're going to be adding a small version of the jellyfish from season five, which is a big fan favorite, you could say. But instead of going bigger, we're going to make it a baby version that's going to sit on top of this hill here. And it's going to be selling the glow lichen, which I think is kind of perfect, because if I go and find some in here somewhere, it's it, it, look, it kind of looks like the tentacles of a jellyfish. If you squint, maybe just just go with it. Just go with it. Don't don't complain. And so the concrete, you're thinking, where's that going to go false? Well, in here, because glow lichen will go up there and the jellyfish that will stand on top of this thing. And the, there's so much real estate in here that it just seems silly to leave my concrete over there. I mean, in a way, I kind of 
should have at least some sort of signal over there that tells people to go here because people are buying concrete and if they can't find it it's going to be a problem but i think once this place expands which it definitely will i mean i'm not even the first person and so yeah there shouldn't be uh at the very outskirts for that long also i'm currently thinking about building the rest of my shops or at least a few of them potentially in this area here where i've sort of roughly claimed a little bit of space because i'm thinking It'd be nice to kind of build up along this path that I uh, I did during a Hermitcraft meeting. I basically made the path all the way around the shopping district, or, or at least uh, widened it and stuff. Because this, this area over here was looking really good. There's a lot of paths over here, and then I just widened them and made them a little bit clearer. And they are actually looking pretty good now, uh, which was something that was a big problem in the shopping district. And, and I even made it over there and everything. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to be streaming, so we're going to be working on the river over at Beef's and uh, probably a zoomers too potentially depends what we have time for so i'm going to include that now and include it i shall because the stream is now over three or four hours later since uh, i did it and uh, yeah we didn't change anything with that one but there is indeed a new river over here which i just asked a zoomer about haven't completely filled it with, with water yet because it actually slopes down because this one will indeed have a waterfall. Now, Azuma had a bit of a bridge plan, so I've, I've sort of put that back in again because uh, I made this a bit wider and the waterfall will be sort of here roughly. Obviously, this is just the very, very, very bare bones of the uh, of the design. But uh, yeah, I wanted to check with him again before I did anything specific because he actually had added the, uh, the path in. Look at it. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that all looks once it's all together. And then of course, if we go back over to town, over towards Beefs, you're going to see this thing pretty much from space because this is the widest river, not yet the deepest, but uh, it's looking pretty good. And uh, you know what? Let's get a view from up here, up where the beacons are. Yeah, look at that thing. And you know what? I even decided to update the maps because you get a pretty good idea of the scale of these things once you start looking here. So I've updated the map with both Beef and XB's river, I guess, here. Ignore the beacon on there. But that is it now. Uh, that obviously was no river before. And actually, that really separates the areas really nicely uh, and is definitely a lot wider than these ones, that's for sure. Maybe not the natural ones, you know, not much I can do about that. You know, there's only so much real estate there that I can use, but uh, it's definitely a little bit wider. And then uh, Azuma's one is that one there. And then obviously this one here before, um, you know, before it's got water in it. But I'll update that as... And when that happens so yeah with a river potentially going in this spot here potentially in this spot over here um and then even maybe even one over there maybe even one over there eventually um you know this is looking pretty good there may even be one here there may be something up here uh you know there might be uh i could widen that one there i don't really know <laughs> i mean i could just look at this i mean when i step back i realize just how much water is on this and how much i've well i guess i've not added that much but you know, it doesn't take that much to really give you some shapes going on. But yeah, I'm very happy with how it's turned out and hopefully you guys will like it too. Anyway, back over to the shopping district because there is no dilly-daddling around. I don't have time for that. Okay, we got a charity stream and such to prepare for because yes, I'm recording this pre-stream pre if that's already happened. Uh, I got I got to build a jellyfish. I got a je jellyfish to build and you know what? That's pretty darn important too. So, oh, I should probably say as well. I did cover this over just so people didn't get a sneak peek. But look, also the sheep ended up in here. Sorry, dude. You might have to belong here now. You just you seem to love it. You seem to love it. But yes, I decided the uh, I didn't have enough chests. I decided that the concrete would just go in this sort of uh, fashion. I thought, you know, once obviously once all the chests are in and once there's detail and once there is a water stream, that's what this hole is. A water stream up into the jellyfish because that's I think what I did. Or maybe it was a ladder in season five. I'm not sure. And here it is. I did get to use mangrove, which is the perfect color for this, which we didn't have in season five. But other than that, it's very, very similar. I'm going to put a screenshot up of the season five base. So let me know what you think below. It is not complete, but uh, here is the jellyfish. <laughs> it looks a bit odd without detail, I think. But uh, I think I'm going to add some detail to it. In fact, it looks kind of short from here. Maybe I've done the wrong thing. Or in fact, I think I'm going to add some extensions some like glass panes and such under here but i think for that i'm gonna have to make a little bit of a platform now i've just been adding some uh glow like into it because one it sells it and two it's really great for lighting things up yes this is an advert for glow like please buy now shop now open uh <laughs> freddie hermits they're watching that one is one up there but that whoa that is quite the lag spike going on well yeah now i need to add uh well a way down and so i don't think i've got water on me but there is an entrance in here this is for the glow like part 
And I think, uh, I don't know, water bucket, but the water bucket is going to go down here. So, in fact, I'm going to add that now. And I'm going to come back to you. In fact, I might just add a bunch of detail. Like, it's getting late in the UK and I kind of just want to get this done. So, I might just plug my earphones in, get some music on, and bring you back in when it's mostly done. Um, and I'll explain what we're doing on the inside, too. I just need a lot more chests for this. But mostly, it's just going to be a wooden floor, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep it quite simple. Nothing crazy because the concrete isn't going to stay down there forever. But yeah, here it is. Let, let's improve that bit first. Because that thing needs improving, for sure. It looks a bit flat. Right, we're back at the jellyfish and it was late. So I got it finished, basically. Well, I say that. I've just realized I actually need some glass panes. Let me see if I've got some in here. I'm going to just use the light blue, I think, for now. We could change this up. But I have just realized I haven't actually made this a... Uh, the shoot upwards yeah i actually need to get the soul sand and the kelp in fact i'll do that in just a second but just to show you what's been going on i've kept it fairly spawnable it's actually uh i want it to be a little bit dark in here uh and i've actually put in hidden lighting which is actually really handy look i've got an end rod in there i thought that was really a good way of like hiding it um nothing too crazy up there a little lantern up here which i'm gonna get some stripped jungle uh logs i think to put behind it just because that's gonna make that a bit brighter make it look kind of cool but i like the hidden lighting i think it's good it's good to have it in the walls rather than the floor because i want to make a bit more of a uh like i want these 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 chests to glow right now i haven't actually thought about where i'm putting prices actually yeah that's one thing i need to do probably some hanging signs of uh of some sort but yeah the idea is up here you're basically gonna be able to swim up here or like get pushed up here with the bubble column and you can well one you can come out on top of this hill which, you know, it's a good little viewing platform. Nothing much up here. Nothing too crazy. It did go a little bit crazy with the details of flowers and such. And yeah, just imagine this is a bit quicker. Now, this is one way up here. Now, this is just currently my bedroom. <laughs> it actually does feel like a throwback. And my original plan here was actually to continue, like, filling this whole thing in, like, a, like my original uh, jellyfish, um, where this was all just filled in with these blocks and some darker, some darker blue terracotta as well. But looking at this at night time, I really noticed that it glows without that. And so I'm thinking of maybe just kind of doing some, uh, some, some of this kind of stuff instead. Maybe get rid of some of the torches and see what that looks like at night time instead. And do this. And I think you should be able to walk through this. That's at an angle. But yeah, you should be able to walk through it, which is nice. I do like that as like a door. Now, have I got a silk touch? I do. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't want to have to go find another clay block. But there you go, there's that. Um, uh, I think I might even put like a little bit of that there just to make it a bit more obvious. And what else did I have on me? I was going to use gates otherwise, but gates are a little bit old now that I can use hanging signs. I kind of like it. Okay, I kind of I kind of dig that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some nice little subtle lighting. Uh, I was going to put some pink petals or something in here. You know what? I'm going to keep this quite open in here because I'm not really sure. You guys might have some better ideas. Uh, was there anything else I had on me? I think I was going to, you know, use one of these for like, you know signage for prices or something you know i might just put one there uh and then i'll just stock this off camera you know you know but anyway let's have one little flyby of the pretty pretty complete i've added a few blocks over there to make it kind of look a little bit less like a pancake because the bottom looks a bit like a, it still looks a bit like a pancake <laughs> it looks like a hill on a pancake whatever it's fine but here it is the majestic jellyfish is back. Oh yeah, I kind of, I kind of like it, but also I find that it's very hard to see unless you're close up. The full effect. I feel like it looks better close up, but whatever. I like down here. It kind of feels quite good. It does feel kind of temporary, but also I don't know how temporary it'll be. You know what though? Have I got some other blocks? I think I'm gonna add a bit of a doorway here. In fact, I've got an idea. I'm trying to trying to not use trapdoors every five seconds, but I am at the moment. Can I do something like this? Maybe just to make this entrance a little bit more exciting. I feel like that's quite good. That kind of that's kind of nice. I might have to do it here as well though, which is a problem because I'm gonna have to go out the top. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me cook. Let me cook. That's too many. But yeah, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's not. We'll see. I'll have to fill that block back in again. I kind of like that. And then maybe we bring back in... No, you know what? Let's push, push them back a block. Let's see if... Well, let's see if this looks cool down here as well. Because this is my go-to at the moment. I don't know if I want to have it all the way down though. But I kind of like it up there. And then we could even hide it a bit. Like that. So... I'm trying to think of how to do layers of certain things. You know what? Hmm... 
Because I kind of put like them all across the bottom of here because it didn't look like they were being held up together otherwise. I don't know. I think I'll play around with this. You guys can give me some suggestions, but uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I like that you can see the colors in the background. I'm glad I chose those ones. Yeah, it's subtle. I'm going to need some sort of signage nearby or something, but there we have it. The shop is pretty much complete. Right, well, I'm here to stock up. I haven't got all that much just yet, but you know what? It's okay. People aren't really buying it anyway. So I might as well just like fill these up and then, you know, pop by, you know, once a month or something. I might make these two diamonds a stack now that I have like my moss farm uh, going for the bone meal because that was basically the thing that was stopping me like stocking this well. And so, yeah, I will have to change all these uh, names in the book, in, in, in the books. That's not a book, that's a box. Uh, in the boxes as well as on the sign. And yeah, these are just going to be extra ones. I'm going to also dye them, I think. Maybe, well, this is not really light blue, is it? I feel like those probably actually are the closest they can be. But I'll probably go with pink instead just because it'll go with the floor. But there we go. Those are all restocked. But speaking of restock... Oh, I actually need to turn my volume back up. I've just realized I went over to the Enderman farm and then didn't turn it back on again. There we go. Uh, we can actually probably move everything. In fact, look. Shop moving soon. New location. Uh, lichen, lichen and concrete. I couldn't... I could Wait. I can I can fit the whole lichen in there. But I also couldn't spell concrete, apparently. Um, don't know where the, the tea came from, but there we go. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, it's going to be called the Jellyfish Emporium, unless you guys come up with a better name, which I'm sure you will. In fact, saying that, you know what? I feel like I should leave a little bit in here because I, I probably should just for now, but I will see what we're doing with stock. Oh my goodness, someone keeps buying me out of the white. What's that, 57 diamonds? Oof, oof, oof. I'm going to have to make some more white concrete. But you know what I'm going to do? Every every bit of concrete now, I'm going to, in fact, start taking over there. So, in fact, you know what? Should I just move it all now? I feel like I should just move it all now. You know what? I'm moving it all now. <laughs> I'm doing it now. I'm doing it now. Um, there you go. Because I, I will maybe forget to do it later. So why not, right? Um, there we go. You know what? Yeah, let me grab these and then we'll see what, what it looks like with stock. I think it's basically going to be pretty empty. We're going to have to definitely, definitely work on getting some concrete. In fact, next episode, though, we're going to work on the concrete farm. And you know what that means? The unlimited concrete. Sort of. Sort of. I still have to grab the sand and then grab the gravel from the uh, the gold farm, which I need to actually AFK from, actually, saying that. Oh, I wish I'd have used these. <laughs> Look at these. I've just got the duplicates of those now. That's a shame. Also, if you can hear snoring in the background, just uh, just know that the doggo is uh, just snoring his head off <laughs> right now. It's not much I can do about that. So what I'm going to do is actually in the new shop. In fact, you know what? Let me pick these up and I'll, I'll show you what I mean before I even explain it. And that is that if you noticed earlier, the concrete shop actually has two chests per color. Now, my plan is to very easily... Uh, well, I say easily. <laughs> concrete in general isn't really easy. But uh, what my plan is to do is have the powder concrete on the top. And then the non-powdered kind below. They're actually going to be the same price because the concrete farm I'm going to be building is kind of ridiculous. And so it really won't make much difference whether or not it's concrete powder or not. It's probably going to take not much longer to make it normal concrete. And so I think that's my plan. I think I'm going to literally keep the price very, very similar, if not the same. And wait, am I putting that in the bottom? I think I want it in the top. Oh, I put it in both. Oh no, I've ruined everything. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's, yeah, powder on the top, right? And then uh, the full concrete on the bottom, I think. But I don't know how to symbolize that. Like, here somewhere. Like, what's what's a very clean way? Because this is actually a very clean design so far. Like, it makes sense, you know, there's just little signs here and there. Mm, I'm not sure. But yeah, let me let me, let me me get all this stuff out. Oh, also, I did add, add, a, add an ender chest too, by the way. So, I'm, I'm very much ahead of the game. So many shops don't have an ender chest. In fact, someone stole my ender chest from my shop. Uh, but there we go. I think, yeah, I've got some concrete powder in here too. Beautiful. So the plan is going to be to try and stock this as much as possible. But yeah, that'll be next episode when I get the concrete farm going. But look at this. We're already getting already getting pretty good stock in. Light grey is a very popular colour. And yeah, because I've moved everything now, that is going to be it. In fact, I'm actually going to move the glow like, and I said I wasn't going to, but I am. I'm going to move it all. I'm going to move it all. Uh, it scared me to move it all, but, uh, you know, because people are going to be like, oh, well, where is it? But I think if I leave this here... In fact, I think I've got an idea, actually. I'm going to, I think, mark the floor as like a, this is where it used to be. Here it is. Here's the, I guess it doesn't look great, but the, the path. You know what? Maybe I'll use coarse dirt. If I can find some coarse dirt, maybe I'll use that instead as like a, 
it's like a funny marker of like it looks like i've just picked up the shop and moved it <laughs> that might be quite fun we'll move this fence as well we don't need that that crafting bitch i don't even know who that is i've just picked it up either way uh have i got some shears i think they're the quickest thing yeah here we go get rid of it all get rid of it all it's all gone it's all gone this is so sad it's actually kind of sad but it's fine but it's fine we're moving on to bigger and better things and our first proper proper ish shop uh no, it is not. A, it is a proper shop. It just isn't for you know full time for the uh, for the concrete. The concrete will be moving at some point. But there we go. Look at that. We have uh, moved. In fact, I'm going to pick my uh, my inner chest back up. So someone else can't have it. Pick that up as well. And now I'm going to be back over here with the coaster to make it look like it's <laughs> make it look like it's just vanished. Let's use this water elevator. You know what? It's pretty darn quick. <laughs> it's pretty darn quick. I was thinking as well while I was over here. Maybe I should do some sort of deal with the glow lichen and the concrete whilst at least it's in this area, in the same shop, technically. Because I'm thinking if you buy concrete, maybe you get like a free... You know what? Well, that's not great. Maybe if you buy glow lichen, you get some free concrete. I don't know. There's got to be a good deal or something there that I could I could use, right? Oh, and also the banner's there too. It's cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, uh, I've also put a little sign just saying uh, stocking in progress, new colours soon. Because soon it will be. I think I'll have most of them. I think I need to always get green going. But you know what? Green probably isn't all that popular. But anyway, let's go get some stuff now. And whilst I'm at the base, you know, you might be wondering, where on earth is this concrete farm going to go? And well, I think I've only shown people on live stream. So let's head into my base, which, by the way, looking lovely, looking lovely, looking very symmetrical, as uh, a lot of people like to point out every single time, every single video. <laughs> Yes, I guess it's part of my name. I had done that to myself. But anyway, let's actually go through this uh, entrance that isn't an entrance. And here it is. Look at this. So next to the uh, the dock that I, I very much built on a stream. Look at this. Very cute. Very cute. Very much a fan. Going to have to build this on the other side too. But basically, this is going to lead to here. And this is going to be like a walkway. In fact, I might do a walkway all the way around. I haven't decided yet. But look at this big old spot. Because I've got a uh, beautiful beacon now, I can dig this out pretty easily. And it only took me like, a, what, 10 minutes or so? And so this is going to be the house for a pretty good concrete farm. It, I can't remember who made it off the top of my head, but I'm pretty excited. So hopefully you guys are too. I'm very much looking forward to building it out in terms of design uh, into the other block palette we're going to be using. Or not, not really block palette, block theme. Or just theme in general, actually, because the the blocks in general for that theme is going to be kind of random. Um, but yeah, I kind of am liking this skylight, but it does have to go at some point. In fact, I think that's going to be the floor of the build. So I think maybe some, you know, I'm thinking dark oak. We bring back dark oak a little bit, but mostly in flooring and ceilings that we kind of don't want to pay attention to. But yeah, look at this. Oh. I'm looking forward to building here. I really, really am excited. So hopefully you guys are too. But anyway, that is going to actually sadly wrap it up this episode because uh, I've got a charity stream to get ready for. So have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you enjoy the stream. It's happening very, very soon as you're watching this. And uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya.